Hi everybody, so today I am making French onion soup. Uh, I used to get it all the time in restaurants, I still get it all the time in restaurants, but I decided that I wanted to be able to make it for myself, so I did a whole bunch of Google searches, I looked at a whole bunch of recipes, I took out some things that I didn't like, I added things I did like, and I just kind of mishmashed it up and made my favorite recipe for French onion soup outside of a restaurant, and I'm going to share it with you today. So hold on and I'll show you how. I've got my onions here, I've got butter, and I've, there, this is flour, sugar. I usually use uh, beef stock in a quart box, but um, I didn't have any, so I'm just going to make my own. Uh, i got black pepper here, and I've got, in this little guy, some thyme that I'm going to just kind of crush up and turn into powder because I don't like it in the, uh, what do you call it, like stick form. And also, I got a loaf of French bread and some sliced Swiss cheese. Okie dokie, to start off, I'm going to chop my onions. And I do this a little differently when I'm making onion soup than when I'm putting onions in any other recipe. With this recipe, instead of dicing it, I'm just going to cut it in half and cut it into half rings. Like so. Balls. All right, I got my onion sliced up. They didn't all fit in the bowl, so I just left them over on the cutting board. But anyway, so I'm going to take my four tablespoons of butter, and I've had this pan heating up for a while, so it's probably going to sizzle really loud when I put this in. But I'm going to do the butter, then put the onions in. So now that we've got our onions in the stock pot here, I'm gonna stir them all up, get them all coated in butter. And we're gonna go ahead and put a lid on it, keep it at medium low for 20 minutes, stirring occasionally just so that you don't get burnt spots, and then we will caramelize them. My timer just went off for my onions. I'm using an oven glove because that steam has burned me before. So be careful with the steam when you open the lid of your pot. And I don't know if you can really see this, but super soft onions. So now that the timer has gone off, we're going to turn it up to medium high. And we're going to add sugar and a little bit of salt. So I'm just going to put a little bit of salt. And again, like I said, I, I made this recipe myself, so I have a tendency just to kind of follow the measurements. So a teaspoon of sugar. And stir this up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to let this kind of cook up until the onions are really, really golden brown, like really brown. All right, these onions are really close to being ready. So we want them to be really deep golden brown, but we also don't want them to burn. Because if you burn them, it ruins the whole dish. You can't just take out the burned ones and call it good. It just, it just destroys the whole dish. So... We gotta be really careful from this point to make sure we don't burn our onions. I think this is just gonna need a couple more minutes. It's been about 12 minutes that I've been going at this, so it takes a while for them to get this real deep brown color. You can't, you can't be in a hurry with this because then you'll just end up burning your onions. So be patient, let them take their time, let them do what they want, let them cook at their own pace and all will turn out fine. All right, I'm gonna call this good. And I'm gonna go ahead and toss in a tablespoon of flour. And reduce this to medium. And then we're gonna stir this up for a couple of minutes. Just kinda, kinda combine everything. Alrighty, and before we Take our next step. I've got my thyme that I'm going to toss in that I've pounded the crap out of and turned it into powder. Then I'm going to put some black pepper in it for flavor because I love black pepper. And I'm also going to add my bouillon powder just because 
I think it works better when you put all the spices in together before the liquids. That's just how I do it. So I'm gonna add in beef consomme. One can. And I'm also gonna go ahead and whisk this together just to kind of get everything all worked up and mixed around. I'm just gonna add four cups of water instead of four cups of broth. Look at that, see if I like it. Yeah, I think I like that. That's a good onion to broth ratio. And what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna bring this to a simmer and let this cook for about half an hour to get everything really mixed and all that jazz. And then we're gonna bowl it up and we're gonna broil it. While we're waiting for the soup to cook up, we're gonna take this French bread. My husband and I both have been stealing bits off of. And you're gonna cut it into about half inch slices, quarter to half inch slices. I put mine in the toaster oven and get them all crunchy and croutony. We have our bread toasted. I've got my onion soup crocks on an oven safe tray. I like to have my bread on the bottom and then put the soup over it and then put the cheese on top and my husband likes the soup and then the bread and the cheese. It's just a personal preference thing. I don't see that there's any right or wrong way to do it. So I drown my bread and my husband does not. His bread on top. Then I just stick a slice of Swiss cheese on top of each. Kind of squish them down so that there's not a whole lot dripping over the edge. At this point, we take our bowls, put the tray on the top rack. And we broil it on low for about five minutes. And look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Melted, bubbly, hot, delicious. And, uh, you know, you could add an extra slice of cheese if you wanted to, uh, to make it extra cheesy. I find that one slice does just fine. But, you know, it's a matter of taste. Do what you want. And uh, there's no right or wrong way to do that part. Alrighty, that was my version of French onion soup. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, maybe you got inspired to make it yourself. I'm going to go ahead and leave the recipe down in the description box. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button. Or if you could comment or subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Um, but I'll see you in the next video. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and eat it. So uh, 